we are in the sun and there are lots of ants here. All right, where's the sign? There's the sign. Okay, we are at Wu Wupatiki National Monument here at Flagstaff, Arizona. It's actually north, about 50 miles. Wupatiki was the largest and perhaps the most influential Pueblo in this area less than 800 years ago. Home to 85 to 100 people with several thousands more living within a day's walk. This Pueblo was built in one of the lowest and driest places in the Colorado Plateau. Well, it's good to know we're in the Colorado Plateau. So, we are out in the middle of essentially nowhere. There is snow in the mountain. That's the San Francisco mountain peak. And from yesterday's train ride, that is the highest peak in Arizona. And we are essentially in the middle of nowhere. We are outside the visitor center and on seed, one seed, juniper. Make gin out of this. Oh, looks like it's a hike down. I slept on it and I'm, I'm still bitter about the Grand Canyon trip with Ewald. Again, it took two years to make that reservation. And I don't know how many hundreds of dollars it was for the mule ride down to the canyon, overnight stay, and back again. That was not refundable. 
So I lost my money on that. This was an all expense trip by me for this entire trip. Room, board, gas, everything. He wasn't gonna shell out a single penny. I was gonna do it. I was gonna pay for it all. First class accommodations. <sighs> so, two years from the date that I told him, all you have to do is keep yourself healthy. And on our trip back, for me to drop him off, pissed off, he turns to me and says, well, last year when I went to my medical checkup, the doctor said I was dehydrated and I should drink more water. And he didn't. He did not hydrate. So by the time we got to the Grand Canyon and he got on his mule, he was absolutely drained. He had no fluids in his body and that's why he fell off the freaking donkey. Still pissed off about it. All he had to do was stay healthy. <clears throat> and he didn't. He didn't follow his doctor's orders to hydrate. And I think that's what pisses me off the most is that the doctor told him to hydrate. And he didn't. It, it still really gets to me. Obviously, I'm still talking about it years later. <sighs> yeah. Someone comes up to you and says, I'm going to make your bucket list dreams come true. Two of them. All expenses paid. You don't have to shell out anything. But there is a condition. You have to be alive and healthy to do that bucket list. I mean, it's not even my bucket list. It was his bucket list. Dreams to come true. Would you do it? Obviously, there are people who <laughs> don't really care about their bucket list dreams because they'll do everything they can to sabotage it. And that's what happened. <sighs> so, I guess what I'm saying is that <laughs> it's just really no point in making someone else's dreams come true because they're going to sabotage it themselves. They can't do it themselves, so they'll find a way to sabotage it when someone else is paying for it. Yeah, I just, I don't really like helping people out anymore. It just bites me in the ass. Okay, that's my ranting. <sighs> this place is gorgeous. You got volcanic, looks like volcanic shale over there. Okay, today we are at the Sunset Crater Volcano. National Monument in Flagstaff, Arizona. It's actually north. More than 900 years ago, the youngest volcano in the Colorado Plateau buried this area under slow-moving molten lava. The volcano's red rim and dark red lava flows seem to have cooled and hardened to a jagged surface only yesterday. Oh. Lots of flies. So we're going to get out of here. <laughs> and it looks like there was some sort of fire here recently. Hmm, interesting. About a thousand years ago, something spectacular happened in the lives of the local natives people. Perhaps the first ob observed a change in animal behavior. Maybe they noticed the ground warming. Then the tremors increased in numbers and intensity. A 1,000 foot high cinder cone, known today as Sunset Crater, 
grew where open parks and forests has been. Hmm. Okay, so it erupted a thousand years ago. Wow. Could be anywhere in Hawaii or Iceland. I love the concrete trail. <laughs> this looks like it's brand new. It's small again. This time for the sushi. There was one in Old Town, but there was paid parking. I don't like paying for parking. So this is where we're going. Okay, we are at Go Sushi and Thai Flagstaff having a bento box. Tuna, salmon, and I do have salmon skin roll coming eventually. I think this gentleman over here is making it. Ooh, salmon. Bento flakes. 